here we go, episode 7 of our Descent Legends in the Dark series, where we're going to start to paint the bad guys. We're going to start with the easiest one first, which is the wolf. Super simple, nothing crazy. You're going to enjoy it, because it's relatively short. Uh, but first, I want to thank all the people who support this channel, specifically the YouTube members, which is Northern Viking and Bruce Woodring, who is our newest member. Thank you so much for supporting this channel. That's what helps support this channel, because it does actually cost time and money. Uh, but if you are not, hit that subscribe button, hit that thumbs up, hit that like button. If you want to become a member, go to the main page. You can check that out. But without further ado, let's go. First thing we're going to do is we're going to scrape off all those nasty mold lines, which there is not actually very many that I found on these miniatures. And I can't rave about the quality of these miniatures enough. Fantasy Flight did a great job on that. Thank you so much for doing that well. Um, next, we're going to post those up with some sticky tack onto a board. And I'm doing these a bunch at once. And hey, if you're watching this and you're listening, you probably get a preview of what's to come next. Hint, hint. Stomp, stomp. And we're going to spray these with black all the way around. Make sure you get from below. And then we're going to hit this with a white primer from above. If you're using the spray can, it's the same kind of concept. Um, so yeah, just do it that way. And then it should look with some zenithal highlighting a little bit like this. If you've been watching this series, you know we're going to start with the base, and the first thing we're going to do is do some Skeleton Horde, which is a contrast paint from Citadel, we're going to hit that skull that is over by the right paw of our wolf. Next, we're going to use some Basilicanum Gray on that rock area, and with the Zenithal highlighting, you're going to see a natural highlight, which saved us time. Which is that all I'm all about, saving time, because that is the most precious thing we have on this earth. Next we're going to take some Agaros Dunes, if I'm even pronouncing that right. Um, speaking of Dunes, I'm reading that book right now, and uh, I'm almost done. I like it a lot. Anyways, um, put that onto the bottom of our base, and then while that is still wet, take some Militarium Green and just blotch it in a couple spots to give it that green, dark, mossy look. We're going to use five, four, four primary colors here, not five, uh, which is Mechanica Standard Gray, German Gray, Rackharth Flesh, and just whatever white you have. And the first thing we're going to be doing is taking that Mechanica Standard Gray. If you want to use some medium to extend your drying time, you can. I did not because I'm just slapping that thing on there. And we're going to take that Mechanica Standard Gray and we're going to put on a vast majority of our miniature um, in the middle while the tips of our hair are going to be more of the German gray. If you do not have German gray, it's not a big deal. You just put some black into your mechanic standard gray. It's the same crap. It doesn't really matter. While your gray is still wet, so this is going to be a very fast process, take that German gray and start working it in there. You're going to see it start blending, and you want those tips to be darker than the middle of the body. The fur portion, the actual fur you can see should be darker than the middle portion. Just make sure you're blending that in there nice and neat. If you need to feather it, which is a technique, get a paintbrush that is a little bit wet and you can just kind of blend those two together. It's really simple, um, nothing crazy. Next we're going to take some Rackharth Flesh and we're going to paint our face here. Now I base these color schemes off of the concept art that you can find on Fantasy Flight's um, website or you can just Google them. They didn't do them for every single one but a vast majority of them you can find pictures for so you'll see that I'm trying to follow the car art as much as possible. So hit that area to include the teeth as well. 
the beard that is coming down you want to keep black so we're going to keep that way and the teeth is the same thing take our German gray again and we're going to hit the little nose just to get that brought back up to the normal color. We're going to use white for a couple things. The first being the eyeballs. Again, we're following that card art. They just have pale white eyes. No pupils. They're soulless. And then we're going to use this on the teeth. And if you want to use some on the claws, you can as well. For our final base color, we're going to take a dry brush of long beard gray and we're going to hit those raised areas. Again, if you're not familiar with dry brushing, take it, put it into a nice flat brush, get 95% of that paint off. You want as little paint on there as possible because honestly, it will catch on to that. That's the technique. That's what you're supposed to do. And go ahead and hit all that area um, as we are going to dole it down here in a second. a 50-50 mix of Agrax Earthshade and Nolan Oil and we're going to slap this over the entire miniature. Don't try and get some onto the base. Um, just try and get it onto the miniature and it's going to dole it down very nicely. While that is drying, hit a little bit of the eye with some Drakenoff Nightshade just to give it a little blue color. to the highlight phase which there's not a whole lot we're going to keep it very meh just to match that card art we're going to take some of that screaming skull and we're going to paint this on our claws and our teeth just a little bit just to hype it up just a tad bit nothing crazy here we want it to look dark mungy and gross we're also going to use this on the skull just to highlight it up just a little bit it's going to make it just a little tad bit cooler next take some of that white and paint a little bit onto the pupils or into the eye sockets just a little bit just nothing crazy and then a little bit on the tips of the teeth just to brighten those up a little bit and if you want to do a little bit on the claws you can as well And for your favorite part, we're going to paint the rim. I'm doing mine in black. You can do yours whatever you want, but I want the baddies to look bad, which is black. And that was the simple way to do this. You got three miniatures. Shouldn't take you that much time. Relatively, probably took me 45 minutes to an hour, maybe, with the airbrushing. I'm not sure. I don't know. But it looks pretty good. It's going to look perfect on the tabletop, and that's all we're aiming for. We're not trying to win a contest or be the best at sports. We are literally just trying to get this on the tabletop. Um, thank you for watching. If you are not a subscriber, hit that subscribe button. You just watched the video. Why not? You can see all the rest of them. So without further ado, I'll see you on the next one. All right, paint on.